formally, our story today is about the so-called Sandero Stepway Pseudo Crossover. However, let's not dissemble, the story in full also concerns the source code, the Sandero Hatchback, from which the stepway is distinguished by an extra 1.5 cm to the ground clearance, roof rails and an anti-gravel body kit, the car is good, but not rich. So briefly it would be possible to characterize the Sandero stepway and end there. But do you want details? We have as many as we want. So, the five-door Renault-Nissan alliance began to produce back in 2007. In Ukraine, Sandero stepway began to be sold in 2010 with two options for 1.6-liter gasoline engines, 84 and 103 horsepower, 8 and 16 valve. The first was condemned to a five-speed mechanics. And in 2011, the second one was fitted with AKP4. The family, created on the Universal B0 platform, did not differ in special comfort, luxury and powerful engines. But these cars were highly valued for their low cost and phenomenal quality and suspension comfort. And Stepway, against the background of its Logan and Sandero co-platformers, also stood out with a foppish cocky appearance, a body kit, which in practice did not actually give an increase to off-road qualities. The 8-valve engine is inferior to its 16-valve colleague in dynamics. The latter, by the way, on average consumes, surprisingly, a little more fuel. The timing belt on a 16-valve internal combustion engine is recommended to be changed every 60,000 km, and it is better to replace the timing mechanism parts with a kit, pump, belt itself, tension rollers. In general, with proper maintenance, these motors can easily run up to 500,000 km. However, they are not without characteristic sores. For example, a stuck thermostat. It can be seen immediately by overheating the motor or, conversely, by operating in low temperature mode. Candles and high voltage wires are not considered centenarians. Dampness makes them break through the mass. MCP is noisy, but does not suffer from any diseases. The clutch runs up to 150,000 km. Transfers are included clearly and smoothly. The manufacturer does not regulate the oil change in the mechanics, but this does not mean that it is itself cleaned and multiplied in the box. 100,000 km is a perfectly acceptable replacement frequency. But the Nissan 4-speed automatics for some reason here do not shine with special reliability and often fail. Repair of the machine after 100,000 km is a standard situation. Another thing is that this repair in many cases financially will be nothing more than just sensitive to the wallet. It is quite difficult to find yourself in a situation of complete default after replacements or repairs of Logan family cars. Accessories and spare parts are available at a price. The body of the Renault Sandero is galvanized, which should not give rise to fears about its premature corrosion. So, in fact, it turns out, if the car, of course, has not been in an accident and has not been restored somehow after that. And in general, to be honest, Sandero stepway in the secondary market as a whole is a safer and, if you like, pragmatic purchase than the purchase of Logan. There are an order of magnitude more of the latter on the market. But do not discount the fact that Logan went to taxi en masse at the beginning of his career, as an inexpensive and reliable option for daily work. Stepway this cup safely passed, cars were bought exclusively for family needs. Hence, there is a significantly lower risk of running into a twisted mileage or an extremely shabby, but disguised version. And if you do not take into account the restored cars, then the paintwork of the body, given the class of the car, is not bad. And chips first of all appear on the wheel arches, in the area of the thresholds. Talking about the suspension is also nice. Its design is quite simple, and therefore the suspension elements do not have to be changed often. Spare parts are available, and repairs can be inexpensively carried out at any service. The first Sandero usually require replacement bushings and stabilizer links. Although, in general, a resource of 50 to 60,000 kilometers is quite acceptable for them. Shock absorbers, rear and front, are expected to react negatively to regular use on bad roads. But even then, their resource is at least 40,000 km. In the original shock absorbers, by the way, it is almost twice as much. So it makes sense to shell out for them. Someone complains about the not too survivable steering rack. This is where the plastic bushing wears out. Previously, there were no repair kits for it, now there are, and the problem is solved inexpensively. But before delving into the repair of the rail, it is worth checking the backlash in the tips and rods, the resource of which is 60 to 70,000 km. Perhaps they are the main problem. Salon Sandero, Stepway has the same one, looks, to put it mildly, dull. Ergonomics is not very good, and the plastic trim is frankly budget. However, nothing creaks or falls off here, there is enough space inside both front and rear. The only thing, 
Many complain about the small, 320 liters, trunk. But the back of the sofa can be expanded, and then its volume grows to 1,200 liters. In a word, as we said at the beginning of the article, the car is not rich, but good. It is perhaps worth avoiding in the secondary market only versions with automatic transmission, no matter how attractive they look. Otherwise, Stepway will be a budget and very practical option for the role of, say, the first car. Depending on the driving style, shock absorbers and thrust bearings will have to be changed every 60 to 80,000 km. Ball joints go 80 to 100,000. Levers are almost the same. The same resource and wheel bearings original. The non-original can bend after a thousand kilometers. Tire rod ends will withstand 70 to 80,000 km. The rods themselves will last twice as long. Automatic transmissions mostly fail due to overheating. As a rule, this happens on a run of about 100,000 km. Therefore, oil starvation is unacceptable here, and the oil in the automatic transmission should be changed every 50,000 km. Life is easier with MCP. But with it, at engine speeds of 3,000 or more, vibration appears on the body. Don't be scared. On the web, you can stumble upon horror stories about smoking and dying 16 valve engines that gave up literally in the first thousand runs. It was so. But only within the framework of several small parties. The reason is the marriage of the crankshaft pulley. And the manufacturer quickly corrected the situation with the quality of components. The most common body problem is chrome trim parts. Although it passes at the plant according to all the technological standards of the company, it does not withstand our winter cocktails, with which public utilities flavor the roads from ice. The chrome blooms, then starts bubbling, and in the end it just falls off in chunks. The 8-valve engine was marked by a childhood illness, a cracking ignition coil. Troid or starting problems? C-coil. It is located unsuccessfully, close to the motor, and over time, under the influence of high temperature, it cracks. The installation of the coil was finalized in 2012, and since then the services have forgotten about the mass nature of this problem. 